Speaking of Texas, you you move from Jersey to, or New York to Texas. Yeah. Texas to here. Do you love it here? Yeah, I mean, uh, at this point, I've taken the bite of the bullet on the first first year of California taxes. It's mm-hmm. horrible. It's outrageous. Taxes are theft. Um, I was sending you pictures. For every $1 I spend, the government takes over 50%. It's ridiculous. It's outrageous. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind taxes if I could choose where they go to help beautif- you know, build schools. If I saw my money actually go to work and get back like, hey, Jack, you, sp- you sent this many millions of dollars to this school. And because of that, we're able to build them a new this wing mm-hmm. or get them this to help better their schools. But instead, it goes to nothing, it feels like. Yeah. Um, that's roads, my issue with taxes. It goes to roads that have uh, no need to be... Uh, reconstructed or re or fixed. Yeah. So in in Illinois, like this is a major major problem, right? It's called the Windy City because of the windy politicians. Yeah. Not necessarily because it's a windy city, which it is, but like throughout the decades of Illinois being as shitty of a of a state as it is with the with the income tax as it is, like you catch these scams where this politician gave this guy. Um, a, a bid to build a road. And then this guy from this company is like, instead of putting three inches of cement, I'm only going to put two inches of cement, making me $50 million in the process of doing this shit happen. And this happens over and over and over again. Yeah. I, I've never really thought about that. I never thought about like you getting a report as a citizen that says, hey, you contributed to this, or you pick like where you want your, your shit to be allocated. Because I know that not a lot of people would want to allocate X amount to... Uh, I don't know. Like, why not fucking hire people to clean up the trash? Why not hire uh, community people that are going to help uh, old people cross the street or take them to the, you know, certain place? The homelessness, right? Yeah. Like, that's a massive, massive problem that I don't know how you solve it. I don't, I'm, I'm not educated enough, but I, I do know that a little bit of help goes a long way. These soup kitchens that they have, if they put these same people to pick up trash, right? you know, find them jobs, essentially. Then I would be more willing to 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 not care as much about the, the 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 taxes as I do now. When you texted me and told me how much it was that you paid, I started sending you just fucking houses. I'm like, you could have bought this house, you could have bought this house, you could have bought this Don't house. Don't mind me. And you could have bought that. You could have bought three of these houses. Just you and know. granted, I would be paying a lot of taxes no matter where I am. Just like just from the federal tax and mm-hmm. and the, the bonus three point five for sole proprietor proprietor LLC and stuff like that, but. The, t- the California, the 13 or 15 percent now that it is, is, is outrageous. Mm-hmm. But again, I live out here. I don't pay rent. I, I think that there are a lot of career opportunities more Amen. pre-COVID yeah. 100%. that I wouldn't have had. Yeah. Or, or opportunities that are a quick movie opportunities, entertainment opportunities. Like I met Margot Robbie through an entertainment thing that was like, hey, tomorrow, this much money. Can you go do this? I was like, yeah, let's go. Boom. I'm there. Um. The fact that I can go to these gaming events and then go home at night and then be ready to go and do my job the next day, you know, those add up when those when that when those were mm-hmm. happening. So there's a lot of value I put into it. Um, but yeah, I mean, from from the Texas side to here, if I was in Texas and was starting a family, it would have made a ton of sense. But at that point, as a 23 year old growing into the success, wanted to further my career more, and still had I think so much opportunity for growth ahead of me. Mm-hmm. Um, I just felt like personally I wasn't in the best spot to do that. And uh, if I could make my decision again to move from Texas to come to L.A., knowing how much money. I, I mean, I lost moving from Texas to L.A. for even eight months of that year, nine months of that year. I mean, lost me can't like without going into too much detail. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, like because of the California taxes, mm-hmm. like enough to make me want to throw up again. Yeah. Um, but. It's been a blessing. There's been opportunities I wouldn't have had, um, and and I what, would do it all over again. What sort of opportunities do you, obviously, like focusing on your career and and being able to say, okay, this is what I want to do for myself. Yeah. How how do you suggest people go about that? Because a lot of people sit in their jobs and say, okay, I have to stay here because this is what I have to do, and they like, I really wish that I could work in basketball. I really wish I could work in soccer. I really wish I could work in the streaming and and esports world how do you how do you tell yourself this is what i want to do i'm going to hurt a couple of people's feelings for maybe a week or two weeks or whatever like when you broke my heart when you left Mm -hmm. i'm kidding no but you know what i mean you know what i'm saying like how how do you how do you tell yourself i'm going to choose me today and everything is going to be okay 
because a lot of people don't. They always choose their job because of fear of not being able to make bills. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's the tough thing is um, I'm I'm not going to sit here and be like, wow, my, you know, my move from Texas to L.A. was a the uh, a big like financial thing. Oh, my God, am I going to pay my bills or whatever? Like I need to do this to pay my bills. That's so I didn't have to worry about that. But all my other moves from Baltimore to when I was at college and left mid senior year from Baltimore to Burbank to do my first job at the SL where mm-hmm. I was paid under 50 grand a year to be a commentator from Burbank to New York to go back to MLG where again New York like I was making more money but with how much I was paying to just live in New York it was really minuscule to New York to Texas you know a year and a half later to make that move to Optic to take that leap like yeah there was all financial things of that it was like Optic I'm not coming down there unless my rent's paid and I get this much help with this and this is my salary for this like every deal of that what what was with that Mm -hmm. when I moved to LA I didn't have a deal with 100 Thieves I didn't you know, no, I was going to live in the hundred thieves house and have it paid. It was like, Oh, you come here for a bit and then we'll figure, and then you could figure out what you want to do. Mm-hmm. It was just like, I need to go there for me. And, uh, I still view it as, yeah, a, a bit of a sacrifice, but my other moves were real sacrifices, leaving my family, leaving my friends, leaving what was starting there. Was this job going to work out? Was it not? There was stresses with it, but this one was more like, you know, I'm 23 or 24. I've done all these career things, but I've never, I, I knew I wasn't going to date when I was in Burbank. I knew I wasn't going to date when I was in New York City. I knew I wasn't going to date when I was in Texas. Mm-hmm. And I was at a point where I was like, man, you've been so career focused that you're breezing through your 20s. You mm-hmm. need to go to a place where you know you'll spend yeah. your future yeah. and want to actually begin to apply yourself. I've never been on any of the dating apps, you know, anything like that. Um, but you need to put yourself in a scenario where you're open to doing that. And uh, that was when I got to California. And then obviously now I've met like, the woman I love so much and Maddie yeah. and it's so great. cool too. So, uh, so I, you know, I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars moving to LA, but how much do you put into my social life? Who, the fact that the experience I've had with going out with friends, this friend group we have out here, mm-hmm. with the Oak boys and Cole cook and, and Crowder and my, but my best friend Vega now lives out here. All these things that wouldn't have happened if I didn't move here and then having a girlfriend, mm-hmm. you know, I think they're pretty even. Well, that's actually like a very interesting point because I'm always like work, 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 work. But you, in the same question that I asked you, you pretty said, pretty much said I needed to focus on my life as well as my work, right? You didn't just come out here to continue to work. You, you, you in the back of your head, it's like my twenties are breezing by. I mean, you, you, I mean, you, you, you mentioned how you, you know, what you're saying of like you don't need to. What what's your growing old saying where you're like you don't need to grow old? Just like you don't every everybody everybody gets old, but not everyone grows needs, up or yeah, whatever. Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah. But I, I still have that thought of I, I put a lot of things in my mind, which I think has helped, which has opened a lot of people's my viewers' minds and stuff to think about that. And maybe it's a point of what you mentioned of like making those sacrifices to want to get into basketball or this is like I cannot be 50 years old and look back with regret that I didn't take those leaps. I would be pissed at myself if I was 50 and didn't and decided to stay for my last semester of college because I wanted to have a good time versus taking my first CWL casting job. I, I would have looked back with regret if I stayed at ESL because it would have been easier to be at Burbank instead of confront some of the issues that I was having with MLG in the past that are obviously fixed mm-hmm. and take my job back at MLG and move back to New York City just eight months later. You know, Obviously, the regret I would have had if I didn't go to Optic and launch my streaming career and take that leap of faith in myself to build an an audience and a community. And same with me moving out here. It's like I would be so filled with regret if I didn't move to Los Angeles and live up what I would have wanted for my 20s or now with my dream car coming next week. If I didn't, if I was in a mind of I always need, I, I have money invested. I have money saved. I have my family being helped taken care of. I, I bought new bathrooms. My parents were were reinvest, We're putting a pool in my house now. Like we we are doing things to add value to our home, but then also to raise my family's um, quality of life at my house that I grew up in. Mm-hmm. That I can then sit here and look at what I've built and done this, and it would be naive of me to not then enjoy the fruits of my labor by getting um, a car is a terrible investment, but you better fucking believe. If I was 50 and I was like, man, I wanted that. I I used to have Lamborghinis as my background on my computer when I was 12, 13. That now that I've worked to this point, I'm in my 20s. I'm where I want to be. I can do this and be very, you know, financially free to buy my dream car. 
why am I on this earth? It's, yeah. it's Drake's song, Money in the Grave. Like, I'm going to die one day. Am I really going to die with millions of dollars and being like, I'm glad I saved my whole youth of my life by not having a night out at the club or gambling that money at a casino. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it within moderation. Of course. I'm not bankrupting myself by yeah. buying this car. I'm not going to the casino and losing so much money that I'm like, hey, we can't go on that trip anymore. Like, no, I have limits. I have things. It's all calculated. But w what is life if you're not enjoying those moments? And I know you know that too. It's why you've got your fishing boat and the, the, the things that you do and the decisions you make for you and your family. But like that is so key is like, I key, well, what the hell am I doing it all for if I'm not going to enjoy it? So how do I